Welcome to Sunny's, the car wash fact. I'm Bob Fox with Car Wash College. You may know that the oil in your hydraulic power pack should be changed annually, but do you know how much oil to use and the ramifications of using the wrong amount? Let's dive into these important techniques and the necessary annual preventative maintenance for your hydraulic power packs. Tools and supplies needed are safety glasses, non-foaming, non-detergent hydraulic fluid. We recommend ISO 32, a new oil filter. All right, first things first. Let's make sure all our bases are covered by going through the daily maintenance basics of our power pack. Check the fluid temperature using the sight glass gauge around midday. You don't want to be past 180 degrees or you'll be in for some trouble. While you're at it, give everything a once over. Listen for any unusual noises. Power packs make up a good majority of your car wash song. If something doesn't sound right, it probably isn't. Also, take a good look at each piece of equipment in your hydraulic circuit. If something seems off, Trust your gut and investigate. Next, review your power pack's last weekly checks and make sure nothing's been missed. Are the fittings all tight? Has the whole assembly been cleaned? Always check your hardware and fittings for tightness. A loose fitting here or there might seem small, but trust me, it'll turn into a big headache if you let it slide. Check for any signs that something might have been missed. Remember, a clean setup isn't just for show, it's the secret to keeping everything running like clockwork. Finally, we come to the main annual preventative maintenance step, which is changing the oil. Now be advised that if you just bought a power pack and recently put it online, you'll want to wash a couple of hundred cars first and then change the oil filter right away. This is because during the fabricating process, hydraulic power pack tanks often have metal shavings introduced. So after this initial change, oil filters should then be swapped semi-annually or every six months. So how do we change the oil? Start by draining the current oil through any available means. Sunday's power packs come with a low level switch in the tank to prevent the pump from running without oil. Once the tank has been emptied, override the power pack on the motor control center. Because the tank is empty, the pump and motor won't run. Now it's time to fill the tank. Again, we recommend a non-foaming, non-detergent hydraulic fluid that's ISO 32. Water-based options are also available. But we want to fill the tank until the low level switch allows the pump and motor to re-engage and then add just about another gallon of oil. There's room in the tank to add several more gallons, but if we only add one more gallon above the low level switch's cutoff point, that's all we can lose in the event of a leak before it shuts off again. It's way easier to clean up one gallon than it is several gallons of hydraulic fluid. Once all power packs have new oil added, take a Sharpie and mark the level of the oil on your sight glasses. Now, every day before opening, you'll be able to see if a power pack has lost any oil before turning it on. Remember, Hydraulic oil doesn't evaporate. If your oil level is low, you have a leak. And there you have it, folks. Your roadmap to keeping that hydraulic power pack in tip-top shape. Stick to the schedule, give it the annual maintenance it deserves, and it'll be a reliable workhorse for you for years to come. Remember, a little bit of elbow grease and attention to detail now will save you a lot of headaches later. Treat your system right, and it'll keep your operation running smooth, steady, and trouble-free, just the way it should be. That's all for now. As always, Good luck and good washing.